more right-wing terrorism has struck the United States. Wade Michael Page killed six people outside of a Sikh temple several days ago. Reports say that he had a 9mm handgun and several uh, magazines of ammunition. Eventually, he was killed in a shootout with the police. So far, the police say they've not found an exact motive for the shooting because they said they have not found some kind of hate-filled manifesto or anything like that that was left behind. Although his white supremacist links are... And the fact that he was a white supremacist himself certainly speaks enough to what his intentions might have been. Now, the Oak Creek Police Chief John Edwards suggested on Monday that we may never know why he did it. We have a lot of information to decipher, to put it all together, before we can positively tell you what that motive is, if we can determine that. I think it's fairly obvious. He is a white supremacist, and he more than likely thought the temple full of Sikhs were Muslims, because they look somewhat similar to them. And that's most likely the reason why this happened. Now, the Southern Poverty Law Center said that they had been tracking him since the year 2000 and that they described him as a frustrated neo-Nazi. And in all likelihood, the frustrated part probably refers to his inability to further spread uh, that kind of idea. Although, in fairness, it could have probably spread very well. We don't really know. I'm not exactly sure what they meant by frustrated. Now, it is also a fact that he was member of the Hammerskins Nation, a white supremacist group that's based out of Texas, but has offshoots in Australia and Canada as well. Now, it's interesting to note here that his fascist ideology is being played down by the media. They're not really going into it too much or digging too deeply into his roots. And by this, I specifically mean the U.S. media. Other media from around the world have done a little bit more in that regard to dig deep, uh, particularly uh, just from my own experience having read it uh, for the uh, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Um, it's not surprising that a, a white terrorist, and this perfectly is that, and I believe uh, authorities have come forward and are treating this as an act of terrorism, which it rightly is. The fact of his uh, fascist ideology and his reasons for doing it are being played down and are being relatively ignored. However, were this a reverse case, if this were a Muslim or even a Sikh, because here in Canada we have had a problem with Sikh terrorism in the past, which is actually was my first initial assumption when I had seen this, that it was some kind of uh, Sikh attack. But it was actually, when I actually read the article and actually did go into what it was, that it was uh, a white person. Uh, a neo-Nazi who had actually carried out the act of violence. Now, interestingly, the police have taken down their requests looking for other shooters or other people involved in the incident. Originally, the chairman of the Sikh temple that was attacked said that the day before the shooting on the Saturday, uh, they had seen several suspicious people, what he described as suspicious people on the grounds. Interesting to note that the search for these other people have been called off and there was originally uh, a request looking for people who uh, uh, what was it they said uh, persons of interest and that uh, they are no longer requesting the identities of these people and for them to be identified now it's very interesting to note that in this situation that that the media and the, the government in particular are not digging too deep into why he actually did this. They say, you know, they may never know why he did it. Well, actually, he's a white supremacist, so I'm pretty sure that's why he shot up a Sikh temple. Because if they were to do that, they would have to look uh, more deeply at the current social situation in the United States and the intense social decay that's taking place there. Not just there. Well, in the United States, it's, it's more pronounced, but this social decay and resorts in resorting to old hatred, uh, hatred and prejudices are turning all, much of the first world in the same direction, although not nearly as bad as the United States. In Canada, this uh, anti-immigrant sentiment is becoming more and more pronounced as our social situation begins to break down, as well as in uh, Western Europe as well, as the uh, austerity drives and the cutting back on things that, you know, human life needs to thrive people are in their frustration turning to many of the uh, petty prejudices and hatreds that they already feel themselves. Now interesting to note is that uh, Page was, a, was, a, was in the US military. Now he was trained in the Psychological Warfare Division, although sources say that he was never actually deployed overseas. 
Interesting to note here as well is the fact that the U.S. Army has knowingly recruited many white supremacists and have actually in some cases sought out to collect specific certain white supremacists for certain units, ones that they refer to as shock troops that are not going to be bothered by what it is that they do, meaning they're not going to be bothered by killing Muslims in the Middle East because they already hate them so much. Uh, this was exposed a great deal by RT in the past. And I think now, aside from the killings of you know, children, the killings of women, the mass murderings of entire villages, uh, this is another effect that is coming up uh, as a result of this. I'm not saying that Page was actually involved in any combat type situation, but you can certainly see why this kind of mentality being put through the military will have this kind of side effect. And this is just one more in what is now a growing list of white right-wing terrorism that is starting to sweep across the United States as its social situation is beginning to break down.